This will be a very wet holiday for much of the Midwest. More heavy rain is coming to areas that already are waterlogged and after a powerful weekend storms. Tens of millions of people face the threat of flooding, with forecasters predicting the storm system will stall over the region. At least six states are under flood watches or advisories. Iowa is especially hard hit, with nearly a third of the state under a flash flood watch through the afternoon. Tony DeCopel is tracking the damage in the Midwest. Tony, good morning. Good morning. The Midwest continues to take a beating. There were multiple tornadoes over the weekend in Michigan. Parts of Wisconsin, meanwhile, have gotten more than 14 inches of rain over the past two weeks alone. The flooding there has caused an estimated $50 million in damage so far. And now those dreaded words, more rain on the way. Still reeling from days of damaging weather, this weekend capped off the second wettest August on record in Wisconsin. It's heartbreaking to see the damage. Governor Scott Walker toured one of the hardest hit counties Friday after declaring a statewide emergency last week. There will be at least an hour delay in the game. The skies opened up Saturday night over Memorial Stadium at the University of Nebraska in Lincoln. The delay turned into a cancellation, marking the first time in school history a football game was canceled because of weather. The National Weather Service confirmed at least three tornadoes touched down in three different counties in Michigan, including in Barry County, where a twister snapped this huge tree and brought it crashing down on this home. It doesn't sound like that freight train or whatever they say, but it just sounded like a real huge wind. In Pennsylvania, Lancaster and York counties are cleaning up after heavy downpours left a destructive mark in the region. Officials in both counties issued disaster declarations after multiple roads were damaged during the storm. I was amazed, actually, because it has rained harder than that here, and we've never had this kind of destruction. In Mount Joy, where more than nine inches of rain fell over a three-hour period on Friday, damage assessments revealed some harsh realities. Every bit of her furniture is out here. She lost everything that gives her quality of life. Now, forecasters say tropical air from the Gulf of Mexico will add to the intensity of the downpours and may bring more than 30 days worth of rain to some areas. Bianna? A soggy start to September. Tony, thank you.